And as we mark one year since the war in Ukraine began, there is a woman here in the Bay Area working to preserve Ukraine's art and culture. To talk to us about what goes into her efforts, we're joined by San Jose State Assistant Professor Yulia Gosart. Uh, Professor, thanks for joining us. Obviously, the number one concern during a war is human life. Tell us why art and culture and protecting and preserving that is also very important. Well, cultural heritage is something that uh, is at the heart of an identity of a nation. And this war, as it became clear since the notorious um, historical work by the President Putin in 221, where he wrote about the history of Ukraine and completely denied Ukraine a national identity, claiming that Ukraine is not a nation, is not a separate culture, does not have its own language, does not have its own history. Uh, obviously, made it clear that the war that began a year ago would have a cultural genocide component meaning that erasing Ukrainian nation by erasing its culture is, you know, one of the core objectives of the war. And of course, knowing this, protecting Ukrainian cultural heritage is of a primary significance to somebody like myself, a library scholar, a library professional. Professor, give us some idea of how you're doing this and maybe examples of the kinds of things you are trying to preserve. When the war started, I um, contacted my friend and colleague, uh, Ludmila Diadek from Cherkasu Regional Library, who is a director, and I said, look, how can we help? And she said, we need something that could help us preserve rare books, books in brittle conditions, or books of which we have just one, um, uh, or just one sample, one item if the library uh, gets on fire. So first thing we've done with our fundraiser, we were able to uh, buy a scanner for the library, but then our fundraiser was picked up by Cultural Heritage Online Initiative, and we were able to equip the library with the whole equipment now that the library has an e-section. It has computers, it has large monitors, it has uh, two scanners now, and it's uh, full equipped to digitize not only texts, but also 3D objects such as linens, for example, or traditional clothes that are also very important part of cultural heritage of Ukraine. Even today, some of the uh, cultural heritage of Europe was looted during the World War II era and is still being found out there that's been missing for 60, 70 years. Uh, has, have you learned of things that have been destroyed or looted from Ukraine that concern you? Oh, very much so. On the temporarily occupied areas, thing that happened right away is that the school libraries get completely wiped out of books on Ukrainian history and books on Ukrainian language. These are the target literature that gets removed as extremist literature. This is what one of the local officials from Donbass area was reporting about the books that being removed, the books being taken away and perhaps even burned. Uh, which would not be surprising given the uh, situation, but also places of cultural significance had been destroyed. We don't have enough evidence to say if the libraries were primary targets of attacks, but certain, um, of course, certain reports do suggest that libraries and archives and places that have historical heritage and significance had been targeted. It was very scary to hear at the beginning of the war when President Putin was about to bomb Sofia, which is at the heart of Kiev, and it's a very uh, old and very important, significant historical place for the Christian pilgrimage. So yes, yes, and, and, and the instances that did had happened in Chernigiv, in Kharkiv area, in temporarily occupied area, and in Donbass had been quite disturbing. Yulia, we're almost out of time. Just tell us very quickly, I know this is clearly a very personal mission for you, you grew up in Ukraine, uh, what would you like people to know about your country? I would like people to know that Ukrainians are very brave. Every time I speak with my friends, they are standing very uh, strong and uh, we believe that victory is going to come and as soon as it comes, the country is going to thrive. 
you and know, thank uh, you for everyone who helps and supports. It brings people not only money and weapons, it brings hope, it brings vision of the future. And this is this is what helps to survive this darkness. Some of the art that couldn't uh, be easily moved and protected. I know early in the war that some of the large statues in the cities were wrapped with sandbags and blankets, even bubble wrap to try to protect them from shelling. So I know uh, every effort has been made to try to protect those items.